Brian Kelly. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. Born and raised. I've been playing guitar since I was 13, and uh, it's kind of taken me on a bit of a crazy journey so far. I used to just do it for fun, and now it's uh, still fun, but I, uh, I want to take it to the next level. I'd say I'm blues rock. Um, I like to think I'm a little bit more blues than rock, but uh, it's funny how, how uh, things get classified now. Now people like to think I'm rock pop, but I'll always be a little bit of blues. Like, so far it sounds pretty good. I just wasn't sure about the end of it. I thought I'd... Oh, I know. I think it was all great. My favorite artist would have to be Colin James. He's uh, really the reason why I picked up the guitar. Um, he inspires me lyrically, musically, how he plays guitar. He writes his own music and he plays all kinds of genres. And uh, then from there, it's like a whole bunch of blues legends. So I like Albert King, Steve Ray Vaughan. Uh, I like Jimi Hendrix a little bit. Uh, not, not all the time, but some songs. Um, U2 is a big influence on how I write my songs, and I love the police. So, yeah, those are my, my number ones. When I used to play in bands, it was, um, it was, I was always lead guitarist. I never really played. I, I never sang backup or anything, and then uh, when I was 15, I, I started singing. Like I, I took my first steps at doing it. So ever since then, I wanted to try my hand at writing songs, and I got comfortable enough, and and now I kind of do both. But I still always will be a guitarist first. Uh, so this guitar is my Gibson Melody Maker. It's uh, pretty much brand new. I picked it up in Chicago last time I was there. Went to blues clubs and so, yeah, I love this guitar. I write all of my own music. Um, I like to play covers to try my hand at other people's stuff and rearrange and try and make it my own. But yeah, I write all my own music. So this guitar is my Ibanez hollow body. My big blues guitar that it is. Um, it's going to have a really rich sound in comparison to my Gibson. When I, as I was learning guitar, this is kind of what I always wanted to play. I learned on my Fender Stratocaster. And um, now I'm, I feel like I'm up to the ability where I can properly do this guitar justice. Um, yeah, it's just got a really sweet sound. Most of my songs are about uh, relationships and love and, and I think that's an emotion that, that like most people have had a lot of experience with so it, it's what people connect with the most. Um, but you know, sometimes I like to play rock songs and it can really be about absolutely nothing and it'll still be emotional and fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer in love and giving love and, and that's uh, what I like to write my songs about. the album that that I'm writing and recording right now is uh, it's about a relationship it's about going from the time that that like you're really overjoyed and happy together and then if as as a relationship can sometimes fall apart it uh, slowly goes into turmoil right and you start doubting yourself and judging yourself and then coming out of that and, and then uh, no one really knows kind of gets uh, arbitrary and you don't really know where things go as is life. Have I ever been in love? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, a couple times, maybe. So I have two guitars, 
when I first started. The first one I got was for 50 bucks, and it was um, a J Terser. And then I started playing that a little bit, and I got kind of tired. I wanted to move up to a more advanced kind of guitar, so this was my second guitar, and this is the one I played. I played this guitar to death. Um, everything from Eddie Van Halen on this to uh, regular beats. When I'm recording, I don't usually do the same thing over and over. It's, it's a lot of improvisation. Uh, nothing's really set out, so everything that I play on a track will be completely different from how I might play it live, or there might be little aspects that are the same, but I like to change it up and keep it fresh. There's no feeling better than playing with a band, because I, I was playing by myself in a room for like nine years. <laughs> But uh, to be able to come in here and do my own thing is uh, kind of nostalgic and, and fun at the same time because I get to go back and relive stuff that I've, I've been playing forever. Uh, playing at Rexall was an interesting feeling. It's nothing but nerves and uh, a lot of tension before, but as soon as you get on there, it's the best feeling in the world. Adrenaline's pumping and people are happy and you're happy. and. Really exciting time. In order to get the album out, uh, we're doing as many gigs as we can. We're going to be playing Boonstock, which is 60,000 people, and uh, out in Gibbons, it's a pretty big music festival, so I'm really excited about that. Five years from now, I hope to be recording my third or fourth album, maybe, <laughs> and um, be well on my way. Being in my own music video and <laughs> in my in a movie and doing my own thing, yeah, maybe. We'll see.